Hello friends. Today we are going to see how to find the nth node from the end of the linked list. So let's see the example. This is the linked list and we want to find out the nth node from the end of the linked list. Suppose n is equal to 3 then in this linked list the third node from the end will be so this is the first node from the end second node and this is the third node from the end. So d is the third node from the end of the linked list. So let's see how to do this. So here are these three steps which we have to follow for finding out the nth node from the end of the linked list. So the first step says that initialize the pointers P and F to the head pointer. So let's initialize. So we will initialize P and F to the head node. Now the second step says that move forward the F pointer by n minus 1 positions. So as n is 3 here then we have to move forward the pointer F by 2 positions. So let's move forward the po pointer F by 2 positions. So 1 and 2. So now the pointer F will point to node C. So this is how we, ha we have moved forward the pointer F by 2 positions. Now the third step says that move forward both pointers here both means it is both pointers so move forward both by one position till f points next equal to equal to null this means we have to move forward pointers p and f by one position each till we get f points next equal to equal to null which can be said in other words as till f points to the last node. So let's do it. As you know if we want to move forward these two pointers by one position we have to use a while loop here. So inside the loop let's execute. So let's move forward pointer p by one position and f by one position. So this is the first loop. I will mark it here. First loop is over. Now in the second loop move forward P by one position F by one position. So this is the second loop. Okay. Now move forward P by one position and F by one position. This is the third loop. Okay. Now in the third loop there is a condition that is F points next equal to equal to null this will be satisfied. So as in the third loop the next pointer of f points to null this means we have to break the loop. So we will stop here and after we stop the node to which this pointer p points is the node is the nth node from the end of the link list. So this is our answer. So when we stop in the while loop, when we break from the while loop, the node to which pointer p points is our answer. Now let's see the code for doing this. Let's see the program. So name of the function is find nth and there are two parameters passed that is the head of the linked list and the n that is nth node. So we are passing the n to this function. Now suppose n is equal to 4 in this case. Now while executing the code n is equal to 4. Let's suppose that and we will execute this code on this linked list. Okay let's start. So node star P and F are pointing to head. So P and F are pointing to head. Then we are initializing a counter. So counter CNT is equal to 1. Now while CNT is less than or equal to N minus 1. So we have to move forward by N minus 1 position. 
so we are counting that with the help of counter cnt this is an integer so inside the while loop f will move forward so f is equal to f points next and counter will increment so let's execute this code on this example here we have to initialize the counter cnt is equal to 1 i will write it here okay now f will move forward till the counter reaches n minus 1 so let's go in the first loop so f will move forward by one position okay so the counter will become 2 then again f will move forward by one position and the counter will become 3 okay now so again let's move forward f by one position and cnt will become 4 now okay so after cnt becomes 4 here you can see in this while loop cnt is less than or equal to n minus 1 so n is 4 so n minus 1 is 3 so here our cnt that is counter has become greater than 3 so this condition will not be satisfied and we will come out of this while loop okay so when we come out of this while loop then the next step is that we have to move forward the pointers f and p by one position each so let's do that till f points next equal to equal to null so let's move forward both pointers by one position so p is moved forward by one position f is moved forward by one position again in the next loop p is moved forward by one position then f is moved forward by one position now in this loop c when we come out of the loop and we go for the next loop and when we check the condition the f points next is equal to equal to null here so it is equal to null so we will come out of this while loop as well and we will print p as this is our answer and this is the nth node from the end let's check it our n is 4 so is it the fourth node from the end yes so 1 2 3 and 4 so this is the fourth node from end so this is our answer so this is how we find out the nth node from the end of the linked list hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below Thank you.